where are you hosting your videos? You can host them on YouTube, but the issue you're going to have with that is that you're going to have the YouTube branding. Uh, and also, if you're looking to secure your, your videos, so like if you're doing a, a course and you need to have it in a membership site, if you host it in YouTube, uh, even if you unlist the video, it can still be viewed outside of your membership site if someone knows how to do it. They can still get the link and send that off to their friends and see all your content uh, without having to pay for it. So which system should you use? There are quite a few out there, but the one that I'm going to show you today is Vimeo. Vimeo is the one that I use for myself and for my clients, because if you're going to use a membership site, you can secure it to only be viewed within that membership site. So it's very secure. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So as I said, I use Vimeo and I'm now going to show you my account and show you how to use it and just some of the, the bits and pieces in there. Now the account that I have is a paid account. Um, I think it's the Vimeo Plus account. Um, so it, it is uh, has a few more features to it. You can then still upgrade and get a lot more features as well. But let me show you my account. So I've now just logged into my account and the first thing that I see are all the videos that I might have uploaded so far. Now in the top uh, right hand corner here, you can see my profile. So I can then go and see um, my profile and you can add uh, uh, an image if you wanted to. So let's go and have a look at my profile. Now the thing with Vimeo is that the videos aren't like YouTube in the, in the case that YouTube videos can be found on the web. Vimeo uh, videos aren't really built like that. This is more for embedding them on your website or in membership sites because you can remove the branding, etc., and have a good looking video. So as you can see here, uh, I can go and update my profile if I wanted to. I can upload a picture, add a few more links, a bio, etc. And this is more for people that view more videos on uh, on Vimeo because you can put things into collection and if someone goes to Vimeo, they can actually browse all your videos. So depending on what you're uploading to Vimeo, uh, you might want to remove them uh, from, from that so that people can't just find uh, those videos on Vimeo. You can then also then just upload. So you can just click on a uh, new video, you can upload, you can actually create a video um, on Vimeo itself, or there's a new feature now where you can record your screen. Now again, some of these features uh, will depend on which account you have. So it is easy, just go to upload, drag it in here, and then you'll get some uh, extra settings where you can add a title to the video, um, add some privacy, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to one of my videos now and just show you uh, just some of the things that you can do. So let's just choose this one, it was just a quick intro. Um, that I sent to a client to see if it was something that they were looking for. So as you can see here, as soon as I go to it, I can see my link to that video. So I can send that uh, to a client, for instance. Uh, the other thing that you can do is click on the share um, button where you can actually copy the link. Uh, you can copy a download link as well if someone is going to download the video and you can copy the embed code, which is what you'll put on to your website. The general uh, part of it here is where you can just uh, go and edit the title and the description. You can then also upload your own thumbnail or if you've got a long enough video, you can actually choose just a screen grab uh, from that video and you can go in here and actually choose a frame uh, yourself. Uh, but a lot of the times you might already have an image uh, that you have for uh, a lot of your videos that you want to, to use. So you can just go in here, click on edit and upload it. Now this is where you can change your privacy. Now this is where I can change who's gonna actually watch uh, this. So at the moment for this video, I have set it that only people that have this link can view it. 
So it's very much uh, like YouTube and having the unlisted videos and just having the link. Um, so this is their version. But if I click on this down uh, arrow, it gives me all the other options. So I can have it so that anyone um, can watch it, only me, people I follow. So these are people on, on Vimeo, uh, people that I choose. So you can select who you want uh, to view this video. You can also password protect the video, uh, the private link, or you can hide it um, from Vimeo um, itself. So this is the one where, for instance, if you're gonna put it on a membership site, you don't want anyone else to see it. So you would then select this uh, option where you're gonna hide this video so that only people on your membership site can see it. You can then also uh, choose where this video is going to be embedded. So I've said that I don't want this video to be embedded anywhere, but I can also um, select anywhere. So if the video doesn't matter, if someone just embeds it anywhere, um, I can choose that one or specific domains. And this is the extra security you can use for your membership site because you can actually put in the domain name of your membership site. So if someone has got the embed code and tries to put it on another uh, website, it won't work because it's going to look at which domain is actually playing this video. So that is another great security feature. You can also select who is actually going to comment uh, on, on your video. So again, it depends on how you're setting this up. If you want pe people to be able to comment on it, uh, in your membership site, for instance, you can set this. Um, at the moment, I've set it so that no one can, can comment on it, um, but you have other options as well. You can then also select if people are allowed to download this video. So again, if it's in your membership site, you don't want people to download it because they can do whatever they like with it afterwards. So you wanna switch this off. So at the moment that's off. If I click this and it goes blue, it means it's on and people will be able to download it. So I'm going to switch that off. Uh, you can also have it if, you know, people are following you and that on, on Vimeo, you can um, allow them to add it to their own collection. So again, I'm going to keep that off. Um, and then again, because of the, these settings up here, um, this is now not going to be, be set. Um, but you can, uh, if you've got lots of different videos, you can add them to showcases, channels, etc., or groups. Um, but you can all uh, do that all here. Now, for instance, if, if this video was in your membership site and you're actually updating this video, but you don't want to have to go through the whole step of uploading it to Vimeo, making sure all the settings are, co are correct, um, get the embed code and then go to your membership site. If it's basically the same video, but it's been updated, you can just click on this button here, which is replace video. And you can then just go and upload the new video. And when it's ready, it will basically just um, overwrite uh, the current video. And no matter where it has been embedded, they will then see the new video. So that is another um, great uh, feature. And then you can delete it. And once you are done with any of this, you can just click on save. You can also have um, collaboration so you can review it. And again, it depends on what account you have. You can then uh, change your embed settings. So because I have uh, made this one that I can't embed, I don't have these features. So let's go back and just change that. So let's go in here and say that anyone. Uh, and if I go back to the embed uh, section, I can now get my embed code. And then let's have a look and see. Uh, let's just edit the privacy again, make sure that this is set. So I think I changed the, the who can watch. So let's just change it back to the private, private one and then let's click on save. So if I go back to the embed, you can now see, uh, you can change all these controls. So the play bar at the bottom, you can kind of switch it on and off. Uh, the volume as well, so people can change the volume. Uh, speed controls, now that again is on the next uh, uh, level up from, from the plus. Um, it just allows people to then watch your videos at two speed, three speed, etc. 
uh, full screen, so you're allowing people to watch this in full screen, and then your actions as well. So can they like it, watch it later, share it, embed, etc. So those are all the, the, the different settings. Now, what you can do is once you've selected what you want this to be and you know that this is going to be something that you're going to be using a lot you can just set a preset so you can create a preset and then all i now need to do is click on this and all my settings that i uh, want for all my membership site videos is now going to be applied and i can click on save the last thing that i would say is going to be one of the things that you need to look at as well is your interaction um, tools and again if this is going to be on your membership site, for instance, uh, you want to see what happens at the end screen. Because if you've got other videos in there that they might not have access to, uh, when you go in here, a lot of the time the default is going to be more videos. So it's going to show them more videos, just like when you're watching a YouTube uh, video. At the end of the video, you always have uh, other videos that you can select to watch. This works very much the same way. Uh, so you want to go in here and you will only be able to change this once the video has been uh, encoded and all that uh, on Vimeo. Uh, once that is done, uh, you can then go in here and change this. And normally the one that I would either change it to is loop. So it just keeps on uh, playing or you just choose the thumbnail. So once the, the uh, video has finished, it will just go back to the thumbnail. And once you've done that, click on add and then save. As you can see, there are other features that you can have on here like email capture uh, on there so that you can set that and after 15, 20 seconds, people have to put in their email address to watch uh, the video uh, going forward. And um, it's another way that you can build your email list. And again, this is uh, an upgradable feature. Distribution, again, you can then connect this to your social media channels um, and just connect all of those. So when you publish a new, uh, when you upload a new video, uh, it can notify these, these platforms for you as well. Then you have your, your analytics. Uh, and again, a lot of this is going to be in the upgraded accounts. Uh, if you're using this on your website and that, sometimes you might not need to see the, uh, the analytics um, because it's just on, on your website. But if it is something that uh, uh, is important, then you might want to, to look to upgrade um, so you can get more um, data about your videos. So those are kind of the, the main features uh, that I would say you need to really know about in, in Vimeo, um, especially if you're just embedding uh, videos on your website or maybe even a newsletter uh, and you're sending them a link um, to a page where you're embedding uh, your videos. Those are the kind of settings that I would say are going to be uh, the, the most important ones. So if you like the content of this video, uh, please uh, leave a like below and consider uh, subscribing to the channel as well so that you'll get notified when I next post a video. So I hope you enjoyed this and the content was useful and I will see you on the next one.